Squad 7 of Regiment 3. My first impression, good. <sighs> Lieutenant Welkin Gunther, squad leader. Next in command, Sergeant Alicia Melkiot. Oh, that lieutenant looks softer than I'd expect for the son of the late General Gunther. And her. Her hometown is Brule. Same as Gunther. Could be childhood friends. <laughs> but if I'm lucky, they were childhood sweethearts. We'll just have to find out how close they are. Next on the list, Sergeant Largo Potter and Corporal Bridget Stark. Oh, wait, that's right. Stark had a nickname. Gotta jot that down. Goes by Rosie. There. Looks like those two don't trust Gunther much yet. That could be good. Could be really good. Who does that leave? Right, the tank pilot, Corporal Isara Gunther. Huh, she's the lieutenant's sister. Now well, that's strange. She looks darksen to me. Wonder how that comes into the picture. <laughs> you couldn't ask for a more colorful crew than that, could you? Something tells me these guys are different than the usual troops somehow. Hmm. Maybe my keen journalistic instincts? <laughs> well then? <sighs> the truth's not gonna uncover itself. Here I come, ready or not. <laughs> There's Sergeant Potter, and Corporal Stark with him. Hey! Guys! Mind if I ask a few questions? It'll only take a second. What? Like an interview? What do you want to go interviewing us for? Aw, oh, come on, big guy. I bet we'd make better topics than some rich kid. Wonderful. Let's start with you then, Largo. You fought in the first European War, right? Yeah, I've been a soldier ever since, too. I'm what you'd call a seasoned warrior, see? And why did you choose to stay in the force? Most people try to avoid the soldiering life. It's an honest living, plus I got my reasons. Besides, I ain't the only one. Look at L. L? Who's L? If I had to guess, I'd say Eleanor Verrat. Captain Verrat, that is. Third Regiment. It seems you've got quite a history with her. Care to fill in some details for us? Th there ain't no details. Is this the trash you want to write about? Look, I'm a busy guy. I'm out of here. Hey, Largo, wait up! Oh, just let him go. We can have a little chat, just the two of us girls. So, Rosie. Can I call you Rosie? Beautiful name, by the way. Do you like flowers? <laughs> I used to sing at a bar. It was hardly a flower patch, but my nickname there stuck. Tell you what, though. Some customers came from miles away just to hear me sing. My, my. So why is a pretty young songbird with a voice as sweet as a rose so... thorny towards Lieutenant Gunther and all those others? <laughs> I just ain't trusting my back to a stinking dark hair is all. Traumatic past experience with the darks and leave you bitter, maybe? Think what you want. I got better things to do than sit around gabbing about him is all. You can put me down as allergic, yeah? Just chatting and I'm starting to feel sick. <laughs> Bet she'd spill the beans if you got her riled up enough. Maybe next time. Still, a veteran carrying a torch for his captain and a darkson hating Chanteuse? They may be cranky, but they're characters. Boo! Oh, hello, Miss.
Miss Ellet. How are you? A little freaked out now. You didn't even bat an eye at that. We're staring at the sky pretty intently. Something up there we should know about? I'd like to fly. Well, actually, I'd like to fly my brother. Fly your brother? Care to expound on that? You don't seem the type to have her head in the clouds. It's very romantic. I believe myself to be quite logical, really. Too logical, perhaps. Okay, so if you don't mind my asking, how exactly are you and your brother related? Wait, let's leave that for now. How would you describe your brother as a person? Welks is... Objectively speaking, he can seem a little strange sometimes. I see. Although I'm a little unsure of what that means, coming from you. But he is a very kind person, and loyal. Anytime my heritage brought me trouble, he was the first to come to my defense. I see. Sounds like you really love him, huh? I would say... I respect him a great deal. Gotcha. Sounds like you lucked out in the sibling department then. Yes, very much so. That's why I'd like to give him the opportunity to fly. I'm still not sure I follow that exactly, but we'll leave that for another day. Thanks for your time. Next up, squad leader Gunther himself. Hello, hello! Are you ready for your big interview? Hello, Miss Ellet. Hard at work again, I see. Didn't you already interview him before? Oh, Alicia, I wanted to get in a chat with you today, too. Wait, really? You're going to write an article about me? I can't say whether it'll make the paper, but I do have some questions for you. You've been at Lieutenant Gunther's side since you left Brule. Tell me what he's like. Wait a minute. You want to interview me about him? Well, let's see. We only met just a few days ago, but... He's a pretty interesting person. You never know what he's going to say next. I see, I see. So, forget he's your boss for a second. What do you think of him as a guy? What? I've never really thought about it. I don't know. <laughs> Is that so? Well, Lieutenant Gunther, care to comment in her place? Lieutenant, where'd he go? Huh? Oh, sorry. Uh, there was just this crazy-looking bug. I got distracted. See what I mean? He's an interesting guy, if unpredictable. No kidding. Now, Lieutenant Gunther, I have a couple of questions for you. First up, how do you feel about this war, as the son of a hero from the First European War? Same as anybody else, I guess. I want it to be over. Are people looking at me as the son of a hero? Well, maybe I am, but I'm still just me. Okay, then. Let's talk about you. What are you fighting for? I feel like the present world is made up of things we've inherited from the past. We get life and a home from our parents, knowledge from our teachers. And not just the good stuff. Take prejudice against Darksons. That's learned behavior. Uh -huh. Every creature out there is trying to pass things along to future generations. I want to pass on what I think is right. I'm fighting for the ability to do that. Thank you very much. That's all I've got for you today. Great. We're done? I want to get back to that fascinating insect again. Huh. You really hit the nail on the head. He's as entertaining as he is unpredictable. 
I was planning on moving along to the next squad after interviewing everyone in Squad 7. But I think I'll stick around and learn a bit more about you Sevens, if you don't mind. Not at all. Just try to stay out of the combat zones, for your own safety. I'm not making any promises. I go where the scoop takes me. That's just how I roll. You will now be briefed on the operation. All right, we're set to begin. Good luck. Let's drive these Imperials back out of Gallia. Squad 7, move out! Out. 
Crush him! If injured, remember to use Ragnade. Take this! 
I'm impressed, but not surprised. My turn, okay? That one to me. Try to approach the enemy's blind spot. Enemy sighted. Enemy unit spotted. Yeah. <laughs> Just keep up this pace. Give it a go. It's a miss. Fall back now. Keep an eye on your app. Just watch this. My turn, okay?
sustain. Minor damage sustained. I'll give it a go. Okay? Careful. 
Entering combat. Operation complete. We took their base. Again, son. I'm sorry, but I can think of no orders to teach you. My memory is failing me with age. I hope we'll meet again. Should you wish, you can likely find me here. Dropping by to read the writing on the wall? That's a good man. So, come to make a donation to the Get Ellet's Name on a Book Fund? Come back and see the writing on the wall again soon. I'll be waiting for you. Welkin, bro! I'm stoked you're here, man. What can I do you for? This one's perfect, bro. to human. Looks like that session beat a new potential out of the scouts. Looks like that session beat a new potential out of the lancers. Looks like that session beat a new potential out of the engineers. Come back anytime you're ready to sweat. Thanks in part to Squad 7, the Great Vassal Bridge is back in our hands. 
That pushed the front line back, forcing the Empire to gather forces in central Gallia. Does this mean we're headed that way as well? The army will take that front. Meanwhile, the militia will head south. Our next target is here, in the Cloden area. The Cloden Wildwood. I was there last summer taking soil samples. It's a dense forest with plenty of hills and valleys. It's hard to get around in there. What's our strategic objective there, Captain? The Empire has set up a supply base there to fuel their invasion of central Gallia. I see. So if we seize the supply base, we cut off the flow of supplies moving north. Precisely. The 3rd Regiment's objective is to take that base. All squads are to prepare for woodland combat and await orders. Good luck. Dismissed. Woodland combat? What a nightmare. What do you mean? The woods dull your sense of direction, and poor roads make for slow advances. This'll be our toughest operation yet. Maybe so, but deeper in the woods you have a better chance of spotting rare foliage. There's one kind of insectivorous plant in Cloden called the Moondew that can suck a... All right, I get it. You really do have a one-track mind, you know that? I'm saying nature isn't just a burden. We might find the key to victory in the woods. All right, I'll keep a lookout for your key while I'm slogging along. Hopefully your plant won't have eaten it. Gallia's mongrels have reclaimed Vassal Bridge. Are the men of our defensive units cowards? This loss is a stain on the Emperor's honor. Useless fools. I hear the enemy cross the river in tanks. And whoever's leading them is no fool. On the contrary, this was a fluke. These are peasants, nothing more. Peasants and barbarians. How could they be anything else? If birthright is all it takes to win a battle, you must find war so very boring. The issue here is Gallia's resistance and how to end it, swiftly and decisively. Exactly. They'll use their victory at Vassal Bridge as footing for a counter-strike in central Gallia. How shall we proceed? What says your grace? We will extinguish these flames. Our course is clear. The Gallian army must be crushed. We will require reinforcements. They will be sent to Central Gallia. Now then, the route of supply through Cloden has to be made unshakable. Gregor, see to a restructuring of our central forces. Then you will continue to press northward. Sir. We will head to Barius, Selvaria. Be so kind as to accompany us there. With pleasure. And to the ends of the earth, your grace. The Cloden Basin supply lines. See to them, Jaeger. They need protecting. Gallia may have already dispatched troops to the south. Therefore, make haste to Cloden. Of course. Leave it to me, your grace. <laughs> Thank you. 
What are we doing? Remind me whose idea was it to come out here anyway? Enough with the trees already. You could say that again. Woods are so thick you can't tell up from down with these trees. Here we go. Hey, great. What did he find? A map in the dirt? Alicia, hold on to these for me, will you? Sure, Welkin. What are these? Some kind of nuts? No. Actually, they're long beard goat droppings. Ah! Gross! You made me hold poo? Are you crazy? Ugh. Hey, Welks. Did you find something useful? Come here. Take a look at this. Hmm. The grass has been trampled down, looks like. What's the deal with that? An animal trail. With any luck, this could be our way out. Animals have a natural instinct to find the most efficient path. That's why the grass is trampled down. They snap off the branches, they eat the grass. As a result, they clear a perfect trail. So if we make like goats and follow it, the path will take us through. The enemy supply base should be nearby. This is where we'll start our operation. La 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 That's really nice, Rosie. What song is that? It's so pretty. Hmm? Oh, just a song I sang back in the day. Oh, you used to be a singer? I didn't know that. Ha! You paint a much prettier picture than it was. I used to sing at a bar in my town. Still, that song was really pretty. I'd love to hear the whole thing sometime. <laughs> Maybe I'll put on a little show one of these days. We're not alone here. I'll go investigate. Put your hands in the air! Mike? It's... a pig? It looks like a Porcavian piglet. What's your story? Get separated from your mom? I'll take a look further in. <sighs> well, what did you find? There must have been a skirmish here. It looks like a stray bullet hit his mother. Even all the way out here, the war is still claiming lives. You lost your family too, huh, little guy? Left all alone. Well, Alicia, does he want to come with us? What? Can we? We're the militia. Every Gallian has the right to join. You hear that? As of today, you're a member of Squad 7, little guy. Mike? Mike! Here is a brief on the task at hand.
Now, let's begin the operation. I'm confident victory is within reach. The enemy's supply base is through these woods. Squad 7, move out! The tank will follow the road to the south. Team 2, take the trail to the base. All right, listen up and I'll explain. Here we go! Hostile sighted! Anti-tank gunnery sighted on the north bank. Pushing ahead could prove dangerous. We'll have to hope Team 2 can take it out from behind. Report! What is the enemy up to there? I'm on my way now. Try to keep that front line strong. Let's do this thing. Lancers. Keep track of your ammo. Enemy sighted.
了。Yoko. Begins. Nothing personal. Say so. <laughs> you say so. See what you get. Man down. Everybody, be careful. I'll give it a go. Concentrate your fire. Be careful, soldiers. The hunt begins.
Don't give them time to think. Good night. Sweet dreams. Man down. Everybody be careful. It's injured. Remember to use... Entering combat! Open fire! Please don't put yourself at risk. Of nature. Entering combat. Fire. Here we go. Got it. Imperials closing in. I've got a visual here commencing attack. Please don't put yourself at risk. Well, do you have a visual on that base yet? Roger, roger. Go this way. Down. Everybody be careful.
Entering combat. Enemy sighted. Take out that supply base. Now! Please be sure to check your ammunition storage. Dreams. Good. <laughs> Let's do this thing. Enemy sighted. Ah, they blocked the road. your situation. Roger, Roger. Stay sharp out there. Focus. Report. What are the enemy up to there? Here we go! Got it. I don't want to do anything.
Just stay calm and get it done. Don't bite off more than you can chew. Please neutralize the enemy's... Here we go! Well, do you have a... I got here as soon as I could, but apparently not soon enough. General Jaeger, you brought reinforcements? A few, but this place is almost surrounded. We'll lose both the base and supplies if we hold here. Listen, I want you all to pack up what you can and get ready to evacuate. What will you do, General? Buy you boys some time. Just leave the enemy to me. Please don't put yourself at risk. Here we go! Fire! Here we go! Entering combat! Now! <laughs> not bad, not bad. Looks like Golly has got some competent tank men. General Yeager, the base patrol has finished evacuating along with the supplies. All right. That means this base is just another patch of woods now. We'll thank the Gallians for this another day. Get the last of your men out. Welts, the enemy is abandoning the base. One step ahead. They timed that perfectly. I'm just glad that backup unit arrived late. Do you have visibility there? Okay? Watch out for gunfire from Mom. Operation complete. We took their base. Again, son. I'm sorry, but I can think of no orders to teach you. My memory is failing me with age. 
I hope we'll meet again. Should you wish, you can likely find me here.